The Prime Minister has backed the Treasurer's push to look at changing superannuation tax concessions, pointing to long-term cost concerns. Let's go live to Trudy McIntosh. Trudy, before the election, Labor ruled out taking action. How is this shaping up now? Are they, are they looking at a short-term change? What's the, what's the debate here? Well, the problem here, Kieran, is the government actually hasn't outlined exactly what it plans to do. It's now uh, very much flirting with the idea of cracking down or winding back on superannuation tax concessions, something it, it wasn't flagging that was on its intentions if it did win office prior to the last election. We saw this debate sparked yesterday by Treasurer Jim Chalmers, who used an economic address to point to the long-term sustainability issues, in his view, uh, with super tax concessions. He pointed to the figure by 2050 that super tax concessions are on track to cost the budget more than the cost of the age pension. In his view, that wasn't sustainable. Well, that's been backed in today by the Prime Minister, who says his government makes no apologies for having a debate about the sustainability of the superannuation system. The problem here is, ahead of the election, both the Prime Minister and Treasurer made it crystal clear that they didn't have any intention to change the superannuation in their first term. We can show you these comments from the Prime Minister 20 days out from polling day, asked by my colleague Julia Bradley about uh, whether he had any plans for super. Does Labor commit to the current super arrangements for self-funded retirees and other super annuants? And do you rule out any increases to super taxes and changes to caps? We've said we have no intention of making any super changes. One of the things that we're doing in this campaign is we're making all of our policies clear, clear, we're putting them out there for all to see. Well, look, we said about superannuation that we would um, uh, maintain the system. Uh, Australians shouldn't expect major changes to superannuation if the what government changes, changes hands. So as you, go, as you hear from political leaders, that's fairly emphatic in terms of promise not to take action. But as we heard from the Treasury yesterday and now the Prime Minister today, this is an area that's up for debate this term. Have you broken an election promise not to change super, superannuation tax breaks by flagging review clamping down on super concessions? That's a big call you've made. Uh, we haven't made any announcements at all. The long-term issue of superannuation is something that we do need to deal with. My government makes no apologies for pointing out uh, what uh, the future looks like in 10, 20 years' time if there isn't a debate about change. And uh, we are engaged uh, in, in that debate uh, very clearly. This is all code for, ta for tax increases. Jim Chalmers is looking to raise taxes wherever he can. We've got a big spending, big taxing Labor government. And of course, what Labor doesn't want to recognise is that superannuation money is the members' money. They own it. Those attacks from the coalition, which we saw uh, started yesterday by opposition leader Peter Dutton, this morning by Paul Fletcher, allowed to flourish in this environment where the government is having a debate but hasn't actually put parameters on what it's considering in terms of super tax concessions. We don't know, Kieran, what they're looking at, but we also don't know if it is actually going to be implemented in this first term of an Albanese government. There is the prospect that um, Labor could take a change to super tax concessions to the next election and seek a mandate on that policy rather than, in fact, implementing something suddenly in this term that they said they weren't looking at.